Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right. Hi there. Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding? Um, in this video, I'm going to speak to you about the scams and frauds which are taking place in Dubai, UAE uh, through reports in Gulf News. I'll be putting the links below so that you can verify them and you know that I'm not uh, giving you fake news because many of you keep saying, oh, fake news. Oh, this is rubbish. So I'll be giving you uh, an alert of the uh, scams and frauds that are taking place in UAE. And the reason I'm giving you this is because it seems that it has increased. Now, I spoke to two or three reporters of uh, newspapers. They are my friends. They don't want to be named, but they said it is increasing and uh, we are not reporting all of them. So I'll just give you some of the old reports that have been published and I will give you some of the new ones that are happening, including people who have contacted me. So this will be my personal experience. And obviously no one can say that, uh, oh, this is fake news. I'm giving you my personal experience. So obviously I cannot give you names, but where I can give you names, I will give you. So uh, let's quickly move on to the video. Now, the first one is, this was April 10th, 2018 from Gulf News where uh, they said um, a 500 years jail for a Dubai Forex fraudster. Now, this is uh, Extensel office in Aranko Tower in Media City, where uh, this guy was uh, jailed for, he was, you know, pronounced for 517 years. The owner, Sidney Lemos and his wife, Balani and Ryan D'Souza, all three Indians, uh, Indian passport holders, they had this Ponzi scheme where they had 120% annual returns. You know, whenever you hear something that is too good to be true, I always tell people, don't go for it. Because if something is too good to be true, it is too good to be true. 7,000 people in the UAE, they invested their life savings into this scam. Uh, it seems this guy, Sandeek, uh, invested around uh, $50,000. He even took a loan with his wife. He took two, I don't know, two loans. He invested. Then Yuri, another guy, invested $60,000. He said this was intended for a house to get my master's degree. But I put it here because I thought I would get 100% plus. You know, think about it. Use common sense. Which investment? You know, all the Ponzi schemes in the world from uh, Madoff to anyone else, they have given this ridiculous return on investments. Put 100, you'll get 100 back for the next 20 years. I mean, use your fucking common sense. Where does it go? That is why when anyone says cryptocurrencies, you know, Bitcoin, oh, you put money now, you'll become a millionaire and billionaire. Grow the fuck up. Check history. Read. Do a little bit of research, my friend. Greed is one of the biggest weaknesses of mankind. And people always fall for this. And, you know, see, here it is. If you see the numbers in Gulf News, it says 1.1 billion is the value of this Ponzi scheme. That means that much money was taken. 7,000 UAE based uh, uh, investors, 120% uh, returns if you pay $25, to, sorry, $25,000. And some of my friends in Emirates Airlines, they said, you know, who are pilots, who are cabin crew, they said, Lloyd, we, we took our life savings. Some of them even sold the property back home, invested in this. And now, you know, they don't know what to tell their parents. So please use your bloody common sense. Anyone tells you, oh, you know, people are minting money and this and that. Don't fall for it. Stop. You know, just think. Do not allow greed to you know, overtake you. It's never, you can never make easy money. And if anyone tells you, you know, uh, returns are guaranteed, but you need to hold and this and that. It's all bullshit. Okay. The second one is 15th October 2018. The MD of an investment firm behind a $7 billion Okay, 7 billion uh, Durham project was held for fraud. It seems uh, police have arrested the managing director of the boutique. I like these words, boutique investment. You know, nice words, boutique. It sounds nice, you know. Boutique investment firm 
uh, in Al Itra Tower in Garud, which peddled seven billion in real estate. The 40, 47 year old Indian. Oh, all the Indians seem to be doing good jobs. Okay, the Indian, once again, Indian passport holder has been taken into custody at the press conference in Burjal Arab. You know, always these fraudsters hold in big hotels with big, you know, lights and sounds and dancers and film actors. He said, you will relive the Islamic, the great Islamic civilization of yesteryears where in the community you'll see donkeys and horses moving. Uh, very good. He made a donkey and a horse out of everyone. Um, it, it seems that one person who complained, NS, who runs a construction company, lost 2 million dirhams. Another guy who is the chairman of a construction company, he also paid 2 million. Very good. So people lost billions, 7 billion. Okay, this is also in Gulf News. Then the latest one was January 5th, 2019, just four days ago, where this guy, Nowhere, her name is Nowhere, there are Nowhere Sheikh. She rejected that she collected money when Gulf News, you know, when they, uh, they had reported this, my friend Mazhar Faruqi, uh, who is one of the top reporters in Gulf News, he said, uh, you know, in, in his article, they said that after they seized the hard disk from Hira Group offices, uh, 70 million was collected from UAE, 24 million was collected from Saudi Arabia, 5.3 million from Kuwait and 2.9 billion from India. 2.9 billion. This is all there is. Uh, you know, and you know what is sad? It is this guy. He's an, he's an Indian bus driver, a poor guy. Maybe he's earning 1,500, maybe 2,000 dirham salary. And he invested 75,000. You know, just think if you have a salary, how much do you save? Most of us will say 500 to 1,000. Now, this guy's income is hardly 1,500 or maybe 1,200. And he saved maybe 200 dirhams, 500 dirhams every month after month after month. 75,000 dirhams and he has lost it. Another guy, uh, he said, I lost my job. This was all the money I had, his entire savings. That means he must have sold so many things to invest in this. Another guy, Ahmed, he said he gave with his hand to this staff 300,000 dirhams and he says now they claim they never received. See, once again, the central message, if you get greedy, if you're greedy, that will be your weakness and that will destroy you. In fact, why I'm sharing this news is because of this. Now, 11th September 2018, moneylife.in, uh, this is a website. It said that QNET, which is QuestNet, okay, uh, uh, as per their article, check the link below. This is not from my pocket. It says the controversial multi level marketing scheme cancelled VCON. VCON is maybe V Conference, high profile flagship event supposed to be held in Dubai, 8th to 12th September. On its Facebook page, Questnet said that uh, due to circumstances beyond our control, unfortunately, we had to make the difficult decision to postpone the UAE 2018. Not being easy for us. We are proceeding with this. Uh, uh, we realize that proceeding with this convention under these circumstances would compromise the quality of the event. Now, what these circumstances are, they are not. See, when you put these, you know, jargon and politically correct uh, diplomatic words, it's all bullshit. OK, um, according to sources, this article says the V UAE 2018 was canceled after Saudi Arabia declared QNET as a haram uh, activity or misleading activity. September 1, 2018, the Ministry of Corporate Affairs in Saudi Arabia issued a warning against QuestNet, OK, QNET, whatever. Uh, and it seems that uh, this is a pyramid scheme. Pyramid scheme means, you know, each person has to have. One person here, one person here, two persons here, two persons here, you know, and then below them, someone else, below them, someone else. So that is called a pyramid scheme. And uh, it seems that in India alone, 10,000 independent representatives, that's called IR, okay, booked a flight, 10,000 people, huh? 10,000 people booked $350 each. Uh, they bought the tickets, plus they booked flight tickets, plus they booked staying tickets, plus they booked everything. And now it has been cancelled and they are left in a lurch. Uh, in these events, it seems uh, this guy, Anil Kapoor, who's an actor, shared the stage with Patman Senati Raj, okay, who's accused and an absconder in registered cases in India. I don't know this. This is what the article says from India. The Economic Offences Wing, EOW of Mumbai Police, has taken a notice out on him. Um, these actors like Anil Kapoor and um, 
all these Jackie Sharoff and Vivek Obroy, they came on stage and they, they said that uh, how they took big leaps to where they are today. Remember this much. You can get Arnold Schwarzenegger if you pay him half a million. He will come at any event and this has happened because of fraud cases. They come at events and they endorse. They say this is a good product because they pay. if someone paid me half a million US dollars, I would also say this is good because half a million US dollars, bloody hell, I... You know, I'm being very honest with you. If someone paid me half a million US dollars, I would say very good, very good product because half a million will take care of me, my wife, and I don't have to worry about anything else for another five to 10 years. You, you say, oh no, you're so bad. You know, then people will lose millions. I can't help it because people are idiots. They would have invested anyhow with some other idiot. If I'm getting the money, why not? You tell me if you're going to get 1 million or half a million US dollars, You'll not take it. You'll not say yes. I'm being very transparent and honest. If I get half a million, I can change my life, life of my child, life of my wife. I can have a house. I can have everything. Well, why not? So you think Jackie Sharoff, Vivek, Obroy, Kapoor. In fact, look at this. You know, this, uh, that rich guy, I think the, who is that? Reliance guy when he had the wedding. Uh, it was Reliance guy. I don't know who. I don't watch all this gossip. It, it seems Amita Bachchan was serving food and Shahrukh Khan was serving food. If you are a billionaire, these guys will even wash your bum. Okay, if Pakistan's Prime Minister Mr. Imran Khan. Why is he putting uh, you know UAE on the head? UAE, oh my brother, I will drive you around. You are you are my brother. You are my. If someone gives me billions, even I'll be a fucking driver. I will be their sweeper. I'll be their even whore. I will give my ass. If you give me 1 billion, 1 billion, I'll give you my ass. Why? Because 1 billion. My dear friend, think about it. We are all working for, maybe you're a good guy. Maybe, no, no, Lloyd, no, Lloyd. My values are very high. Fine. Fine. You're a great. But if someone paid me 1 billion, oh, fucking hell. I, am, I will serve food. No problem. I will clean the toilets. I will call him my best friend. I'll give my ass for 1 billion. 1 billion US dollars, Whew, that's a shit load of money. By the way, Jeff Bezos is getting a divorce from his wife. Wife is fucking smart. She's going to get half of all his property because there was no prenuptial agreement. Wow, she's smart. Anyway, that's something else. So what I'm telling you is these, these big stars, when they come, they're paid a shit load of money. So obviously they'll say, you know, things are good because they also have a family. They have expenses to meet. Now, uh, it seems last month, the Supreme Court of India uh, accepted a petition by the Financial Fraud Victims Association against these direct selling private limited, which is a franchise of QNET. Okay, so this is from India. You don't have to believe me. I'm giving you all the information from news. Now, I give you my own personal experience. Okay, this is me confessing my own personal experience. In the 40 years that I was in Dubai, UAE, I had so many of these. Uh, multi-level marketing. I don't want to give the names of these individuals, but so many multi-level marketing people came to me. Okay. And how did they come to me? Okay. I'm, I'm, see, the reason I'm sharing this video is so that you don't lose your heart and money. I've been getting these emails of people who lost 10,000. One guy even said 200,000 dirhams he paid. I was like, are you crazy? 200,000 dirhams. My cousin, he put uh, three and a half thousand dirhams uh, one of my friends who's a Toastmaster, he took uh, 30, 40 Toastmasters, put a thousand dollars and they all lost their money. So this is rampant. And given the fact that people are losing their jobs, people are worried, people are stressed. You know, when someone gives them hope, they fall for this. So this is why I'm sharing this video, no, not for anything else. So, I'll, uh, you know, this is what actually happened. The guy, they always use this dialogue. I would like to take 30 minutes of your time or I would like to talk to you. They always say, I would like, can you give me 30 minutes of your time? I would like to speak to you of this exciting, see the words, exciting opportunity. And I need 30 minutes of your time to explain this to you. It has the potential to transform, to change your life. So words like exciting, transform, you're like, wow, I'll get, uh, it'll transform my life. He's saying, would you like to, and then they use these phrases. Remember, this is what they ask you to memorize when you are selling. They train you for this. Like they'll say, would you like to be an independent business owner? Independent business owner. Would you like to be an entrepreneur? Would you like to be your own boss? Earn extra money. Earn passive income. Earn money when you sleep. Money is just multiplying. Then uh, have the 
the most secure rate of investment, work from home, spend time with your family, escape the nine to five, name your own working hours. Uh, it, it has the potential to change your life, change the lives of the ones you love. Um, then they'll tell you stuff like uh, it, it, it'll help you achieve your dreams. You can buy your dream car. You can buy your dream house. You can go for the dream vacation, secure your future for your family. For it. So these are the words that they use which, you know, get you like, wow, it can change my life. Oh, and then they'll bring out the problems. You don't want to take shit from a boss, go in the traffic, sit in the office, take crap. But here you're your own, you know. So, you know, after these these words that they use, I was like, hmm, Baba, you are trying your stuff with me. Teaching your father how to ting ting. Uh, but I kept quiet. I let them go on. When I was young, well, I fell for this but obviously as I grew older you can't and especially to a guy who has lived on the streets penniless and who built his future so for me like they always say don't teach your father how to fuck okay so then after that he would say that you know Roy our products are exclusive very exclusive to cut down costs we don't put it on shelves we don't have distributors we have selected distributors it is direct selling so they use his fancy fancy terms and then uh, you know he told me that uh, Loy you will only buy through selected distributors from your upline and your downline and your sideline and all that stuff. Okay. So I was just listening. Now, after he told me all this, um, I forgot to tell you this part. He, they would have these meetings in a coffee shop, like in Burjman or uh, any of these shopping malls, like uh, Dubai Mall or somewhere. They would, you know, have a particular area. Each one, there would be a business, um, you know, one of those representative. And there would be this main guy would have his chelas like the main guy below him the you know two guys below them two guys so uh, he would be the main leader because he had the main experience and rest would be below him so they would either meet at starbucks or a shopping mall or someone's house like a big villa i i went to starbucks i had gone for uh, i'd been to people's villas uh, people's houses i've done this uh, they even invited me to a nice little hotel, you know, nice expensive posh hotel. I can't remember the name also. Uh, it was not a five star, but nice hotel. Okay. So they booked it there and they had this, you know, big lineup and people, you know, with suit and tie and dressing up and, you know, ladies dressed up, very excited, great music. Okay. So then they'll, uh, what they do is they follow this pattern where they have a presenter, where they have a motivational speaker, where they show you videos, they show you videos of people whose lives are changed. Uh, they'll give you two or three testimonies where people say, you know, my life was changed. I was poor before, but now I'm earning six figure, nine figure, eight figure. Um, they even all give you food. They give you a nice cup of coffee, which is for free. Sometimes they even give you free gifts. You know, this is for you, you know, for be being here. They make you feel like, wow, you know, everyone's so loving, caring and nice. Okay. Uh, they make all these claims. And then, you know, the, the part which is really effective is when they show this person, this girl says, you know, I was struggling. And today, then she, they show, they, the camera goes back and shows a BMW. Today, I'm driving this car. I'm able to give my parents, they show a nice house. I give my parents a house of their dreams. Um, my husband and I have a successful running business. And then, you know, the, the main part that they say, sign now and get this bonus. Then they give you one bonus. If you join today, we will give you 50% off. We'll give you this off. We'll give you these two products. We'll give you this help. We'll give you this mentor, which is like $5,000 for free. So, you know, the upsell is there, there, there. And then they show you these products. You know, um, what are the products they normally do is these vitamins, minerals, uh, tablets, uh, health shakes, makeup sets, vacations, holidays. They have all these things. So, you know, and, you know, now the question is how once after you remember this, it is always a fraud when they say you pay money to join. So it's your money you have to take to join. And after you pay the money to join, they'll tell you it's very simple. Get one person as your assistant. Uh, they don't say assistant, one person in your line. That is one at the right, one at the left. Now, after you get one at the right, one at the left, those two people will on your left will get one and two on his right and left. And the person on the right will get right and left on his. Okay. So it, you have two and below them, there will come another two more. So it becomes four. And what they say is first, if you are selling by yourself, you learn X, say you earn one. But if you get the person at the left and right and they are selling, you will get their commission. So it's not only one, but it's his half and his half. So it becomes two. 
and then if they get people below them he gets two more and they that other guy gets two more you will get one plus those two guys half half that is another one plus those four guys that is another one you will get three so they keep showing you this cumulative effect where you instead of making one you will make five or you will make 10 and he says imagine lord if you had 30 people under you you would be making 30 per day 30 times whatever the amount so you know that is how the message was communicated to me and as i've spoken to many of these people in uae in india in all these places this is exactly the same style it they they you know they say if there's a process that works don't change it and that is what they give you so and then after that once you join once you start getting obviously who will you get you'll get your relatives you'll get your friends you'll get people who trust you and will say lord take my money i believe you that's that's what normally happens then is then you know is where the problem actually starts because then they say if you now we have different slabs if you pay a little bit more money you will get not only the same products you know you'll have to sell you'll have to buy the products and you have to sell it to your own people so they will say this box which is like 500 for example 500 dollars okay if you buy 10 of these loy we will give you a 20% off and you can make money and if you buy 20 other boxes then we'll give you a 30% off 50% off so you know you begin to calculate if i buy it 50% off i'm making you know more profit and then they to incentivize you they'll say we will feature you on our website right at the main page plus you will get uh, distributors helping you plus we will give you clues plus we'll give you cold calls uh, cold leads so what happens is you know you fall for it now where you know that these people are dangerous or this is a fraud okay one is the claims are too good to be true it's like you know when you hear someone's life is changed he's making nine figures he has an expensive car you know this shiny objects in the he has a big house he has changed his dreams ask yourself is everybody is everyone those 30 40 people who are sitting are all of them going to have ferraris are all of them going to have jumbo jets or private jets or uh, private villas no use your common sense so one is when it's too good to be true it's always is tall claims never fall for it third one is you'll never see these products on anywhere you'll never see it in any product in any shelf any supermarket you'll never see them okay because they only exist in that website and the website can claim anything you'll see a model who is dressed up like a doctor wearing a, st- a stethoscope he's not a doctor he's a model and they'll have the, all these wonderful claims in fact all the products if you buy any of these products it's always written down none of these statements are evaluated by fda that is why if you bring ginseng formula or uh, honey goat weed or these bodybuilding supplements all of them have this fantastic claim grow your muscle by 300% but then there is a fine print that says none of these statements are evaluated by fda the food and drug administration so you know this is what and when you get a film actor let's say you get ronaldo or you get uh, cristiano or uh, let's say a film actor like you know whichever chuck norris or uh, rithik roshan or any, any film star any okay let's say tom hanks for example that doesn't mean you will become tom hanks use your common sense and last if not the least always keep in mind if people say this is like a pyramid structure isn't the corporate world a uh, pyramid structure you have the ceo at the top below him directors below him managers of uh, senior level below them managers at junior level fine if you are taking this as a pyramid they get paid a salary which is guaranteed in multi level marketing you don't get any salary second one is they don't have to buy the products store it in the garage and sell it to their own people they don't have to recruit other people but here you need to recruit other people you need to buy those products you need to put the shit on your head and you need to have the responsibility to sell it tell me how many people before before you even you know even before they told me about this how many protein powders or weight loss formulas or sprays you know one of them asked me to spray in my mouth and said this is better than red bull i sprayed bloody the whole thing he said stop 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 i kept spraying nothing happened it's all placebo and people can claim anything so what i'm trying to tell you is if you want to go ahead go ahead i'm not saying no you want to try go ahead and try but keep in mind that most probably you lose the money and if you are planning to invest your money okay fine it's your money it's your wish put the bare minimum put the bare minimum and then see what is the result because that is a safe way don't put 
$10,000, like this guy put $200,000, just put, okay, if you have $1,000 to that, put $1,000. But put it with the fact knowing that you can lose it. If you're willing to take that gamble, put a thousand and lose it and say, fine, it was a learning mistake. Go ahead. But if you're not, if that thousand dollars means a lot to you, don't put it. Don't gamble. Don't gamble on Bitcoin. Don't gamble on cryptocurrency. Don't gamble on anything. If that money means so much to you. There are so many people who are writing to me. So many people are telling me, Loy, I lost so much money. You know, they gave all these big claims. You'll make, uh, if you have 3,600 3, volume points and the upline gets a 2% increase with the left line getting a 4.6% margin, that is where your overall volume points grow. In. They'll give you all this bullshit crap. You know, it's confusing. Remember this, if they can't give you anything in writing, they must give you in writing. They must put it on the company letterhead. It must be stamped and signed by an authorized signatory. They must give you the exact, the exact amount that you're going to get per month guaranteed. If they can't give you this, if they don't have an office with working staff, not one or two, 40, 50 working staff with the manager, with the CEO who are getting a paid salary, who are working, if it's not a professional setup, but they are asking you to come to Starbucks or they're asking you to hotel and all this stuff. And they are only online. Online, anything can happen. Anyone can claim anything. You will lose your money. And this is what has been happening where people are losing millions. So please, I'm not trying to tell you whether you should or should not. But all I'm telling you is as a public service announcement, please don't lose your hard earned money because once you lose it, you'll never get it back. And remember, there is no smoke without fire. So many people have lost their hard-earned money through these frauds. This invest in this real estate. Donkeys will walk. Horses will walk. You will get 120% off your investment. You'll get 200%, 500% guaranteed returns. This is all, you know, the shiny object syndrome where they'll show you a quick get rich scheme. There's never anything like this. Please, I request you, don't fall for these hype, this future, this internet this future, uh, you know, company, this network marketing, this multi-level, this thing, it's all bullshit. Don't have to trust me. Just Google, search, find out, and you'll thank me for it. So if you feel this video has really given you value, please share it with other people so they don't lose their hard-earned money. If you feel it has added value, give it a thumbs up, put your comments down below so other people can read it. And I request you, please share it with someone who is planning to get into this network marketing because they will lose their hard-earned money. They will call their relatives, friends, and in the end, everyone will hate them. You just have to uh, search. You just have to search some of these companies. I don't want to take their name because they are very, very powerful and, um, you know, they can get my, even my channel, um, get a strike just for telling the truth. So just Google search network marketing scandal or network marketing lost all the money. And you will come to know what I'm speaking about, including these frauds. So Lloyd from LloydMesito.com, who's Lloyd Mesito and Think Personal Branding. You want to support this channel? You know, you can contribute always. Or if nothing else, please share it with others, like, and put your comments. I always read them. This is me signing off for now. Take care. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best.